you agree that Christians can fight against Islamic supremacism? As a Muslim, if Muslims they invade the country or there is a Muslim uh, Christian country or whatever to spread Islam, I I am with it. I support it hundred percent. There you go. So there you got it on camera. If Muslims invade yeah. Christian lands to spread Islam, he is in favour of it. I am. There you go. And these are the kind of Islamist ideology, and you should be opposed. I think you should be deported from the country. So I, I don't. Have no right freedom of freedom. Yeah, you shouldn't be here. You should be forced to leave. No my, my country will be better without you in it, and I think you should be expelled from the country. Because the difference is, if he's, he's, if I said, he said that Christians have used violence and enslaved people and done bad things. That's not what I said. What did you say? What did you, what did you say, sorry? He was trying to, in words, say that you are trying to make the Christians different to everybody else in the sense of my understanding of when Muslims do bad things, they're jihadis as this. Yeah. But when Christians do it, it's different. So let me lay out clearly for you. When, when Muslims enslave people, they're following Sharia. When Christians enslave people, they're not following the teachings of Jesus. When Muslims invade lands, they're following Sharia. When Christians invade lands, they're not following the teachings of Jesus. That's the difference. Yeah, so when the uh, Crusaders went back to the Holy Land... Yeah, liberated the Holy Land, yeah. It wasn't a holy uh, Christian way. So, so let's let's talk about that. It's a fair no, question. No, let's not talk about that. No, you've Just made a point. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll address the point. Yeah. The Crusades were a response to seven centuries of Islamic Jihad. Yeah. The Crusades did not invade any Muslim land. They liberated Christian land where the majority of the people in those lands were all Christians. And they were welcomed as liberators by the indigenous Christians. And the indigenous Christians supported the Crusader states. However, when Muslims invaded those lands, they were invading Christian lands. And when they suppressed and oppressed Christians, they did it because of Islamic teaching. Now, were Christians right to liberate their land from Muslim occupation? Absolutely they were. Because love demands that you don't allow your brothers and sisters to be oppressed. And I say, that wherever Islamic armies are active, we should fight them. And we should crush the Islamic armies wherever they are in the world. And anyone who sympathizes with the Islamists should be punished in law. And anyone who supports the Islamists should be punished in law. And we shouldn't tolerate sympathizers with Islamists. If a man picks up a sword and lives by the sword, Jesus said he will die by the sword. Men of violence always die because the world has to kill them. And the Islamists are men of violence. What would you say? I don't know what to say to them. Okay. You just keep on blabbering and blabbering and blabbering. Well, that's just ad hoc. The that's nonsense. The, the Sorry, go on. What do you mean by uh, Islamist violence? So, Islamist violence. I'm talking about groups of Muslims who take Islamic teaching seriously and then apply it with violence. So they are motivated, they are animated by Islamic teachings to invade and attack other lands and then well, oppress Christians. Well, you, 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 can, you can just read what they say themselves. So when in the... Yeah, so when you read classical tasfiyah like Ibn Kathir and Tamir uh, uh, and I mean, there's others, but I can't remember the names. When you read classical uh, Muslim tasfiyah on verses to do with jihad, they believed that it was a religious duty to wage war against the unbeliever. That's what Muslim classical interpreters yeah, say. Why they, they... Because because that's what they believed Islam teaches. Yeah, is that, true? Is that, true? that is what they do. We, we, we fight against evil. That is what it. We fight against Get your evil. Own conclusion no, come back. against uh, evil. You think you, you, you they, have to love evil? They, 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 if they, evil is they they there, the anybody is must fight. I, I've just... Right, That's so the, the Quran, the Quran gives this instruction. I, I get what you're point, do you know what the Quran says in Surah 937? Yeah, maybe it's 929. It says, it says, fight against the unbelievers until... Yeah, yeah, so... There is a hadith as well.
I've already explained. Well, I, I believe, I believe that they're following what the Quran teaches. But my point to you is, here's my point. If they, by their own writings, admit that that's what they're doing. Ibn Kathir, Tamir, and the others. They, 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 they say that in their tasfir, right? But my point to you is, are we right to fight back against that kind of aggression? Should we fight back? Should Christians, do Christians have the right to fight back? Bob. Why Muslims? Why, why I've answered this question. Because the Quran told them that. That's exactly why what the Quran is. And it's not only the Quran, it's also Muhammad's own example. Yeah, why he no, so it's also Muhammad's example. So Muhammad himself waged war against the pagans in, in Mecca because he believed that that's what Islam teaches. So the problem is Islam. The root is Islam. Yes. Yeah, it's literally what it says in 929. What did Islam say about disbelievers? What, sorry? What did Islam say about disbelievers? It says that they should be fought. It says other things as well. Are they good people? It depends which surah of the ayah you read. It depends which part of the Quran you read. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran has different things. But my point to you is that as a Christian, I don't believe that I should have to take that. I believe as a Christian that it isn't loving for me to allow my brothers and sisters to be persecuted by that ideology. And that I should oppose that ideology and oppose militants of that ideology. Do you agree that the military intervention You what, sorry? Do you agree with military intervention or uh, economic sanction that the West, for example, if they sanction a country? Yes, I believe in military intervention. So you, you agree with military intervention? Yes. And do the people have a right to defend themselves? Yes, of course. So people have a right to defend themselves. Right, so, but the point is, on what grounds do we do military intervention? To spread justice, let's say to spread justice. Right? Yeah, let's, say Let, let's, let's talk about, let's use the Crusades as our example. I'm not, I'm not really good in that because I didn't study the issue. So yeah. I know that they, uh, they went to Jerusalem yeah. and they massacred a lot, to be honest. No, no, actually, that's a myth. That's a myth. That's not support. Real historians don't believe that that happened. They believe that it was a case of Christian historians exaggerating. Christian commentators were exaggerating. Well, because because historians have a science by which they try to understand what happened in history, and historians don't. Real historians of the Crusades don't believe that what that what how, that that massacre at Jerusalem occurred. There were massacres. There's no getting around it. But Muslims also are massacred people, right? But the point is, but the point is, Muslims massacre people, and it follows Muhammad's example because Muhammad allowed a massacre of the Jews of the Khyber. Do you know what happened to the Jews of the Khyber? They were massacred. They were massacred, and they were yeah. right. Took as war. Right. But why? But Jesus. But Jesus. I'm not interested in defending Muhammad's crimes. What I'm pointing out to you is that Muslims, when they do these crimes, are following Muhammad. But a Christian can't. You can't show me a verse in the Bible that justifies me massacring you. For example, the New Testament, I think, is about slavery. The New Testament didn't ban slavery. And the atheists, for example, they will say the same thing about Christianity. They say, why did Jesus right. didn't ban slavery? I just want to show you, as well as Street Mike, that I'm not making this up. I'm going to no, quote... I'm not against yeah. what he's saying. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to quote Ibn Kathir. He says, no, Ibn Kathir's Tasfiyah on, Tasfiya on 929. This is what he says. Yeah. Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, on the ninth year of Hijra. And he prepared his army to fight the Romans and called the people to jihad, announcing his intent and destination. Ibn Juzay also states in his Tasfiyah, says the verse is a command to fight the people of the book because they claim Allah has a son. So your classical commentators are saying that the verse Surah 929 is about fighting Christians because they're Christians. That's, I'm quoting your own classical commentators here. I am not against that. I didn't say you're wrong 
for your life. I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, there's truth in Yeah. But what did Islam say about people who believe that God had son? What, sorry? What did Islam say about his believers? Well, so. Let, let me let, let, let's try and move the conversation forward because uh, but, uh, before, before we do I actually would like you to answer my question can Christians fight against jihadis is it is it would you agree that Christians can fight against Islamic supremacism as a Muslim if Muslims they invade a country where there is a Muslim uh, Christian country or whatever to spread Islam I I am with it and support it 100 percent there you go so there you got it on camera if Muslims invade yeah. Christian lands to spread Islam, he is in favor of it. I am. There you go. And these are the kind of Islamist dogs that we face in the park, their Islamist ideology, and you should be opposed. I think you should be deported from the country. So I, I don't. Have no right freedom of freedom. Yeah, you shouldn't be here. You should be forced to leave. No my, my country will be better without you in it, and I think you should be expelled from the country. So I have no right to believe you. Right? If it was up to me, you would not have the right to be no, here. Do we have? Do I have? Right to believe what I want or you don't. If it was up to me, you would not have the right to be here because of your beliefs. So what's the difference between you and the Islamists? Right. Here's the difference: is that you have said on camera that if Muslims invade Christian lands to spread Islam, you're a hundred percent in favour of it. I would never say that. That's the difference between the two of us. I would never say that Christians should invade Muslim land to spread Christianity. I would never say that. However, I would say that if Islamists like you are persecuting Christians and the way to protect Christians is to invade Muslim lands, then we should do that. No, I'm not saying that. It's okay to persecute Christians. Well, you just did. No, I say if they, if they, if they want to spread Islam, that's what Islam says anyway. The verse you read. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where there's I'm no not, dispute. I've won I'm the not, argument. I'm not saying that, but if if, uh, if you said that you should not be living here, that's when you are against freedom of religion. I am against freedom of your religion, yes. So what's the difference between an Islam and Islam? Right, the difference is that if you were saying this bull back in Mecca, I'd let you do it. What do you mean? Like, if you, you I think, let, let, let's be clear. I think the British government should kick you out of this country. If you have citizenship, the British government should remove your citizenship. You believe I, that? I think no more. I'm, I'm, I'm finished. I also think that you should be sacked from your job. And I also think that your marriage should be annulled. That you should be kicked out of your country. And your wife should be left destitute. And your children taken into custody and raised as Christians or Jews. That's what I think. Because they believe this. Because you believe that what you believe. Okay, so what's the difference between the Islam right, so the and the Islam between, they believe the same the difference, as you? Th there you go. The yeah. difference between the Islamist and me is that if you were teaching that bull in uh, it, the, the Muslim world, I wouldn't invade your country to make you a Christian, but you believe in invading Christian countries but to make them the, Muslim. Uh, the Islamists, they believe that your belief is a bullshit. That's what they believe. Yes, but again, you, you've not heard it, have you? I don't, I don't believe in invading Muslim lands to make people Christian. You believe in invading Christian lands to make them Christian. I don't believe that God had a son and you believe God had a son. Because you believe that invading someone's country is a crime, right? Yes. Yeah, I believe that anyone believes God had a son is a crime. Un it? Unless it's justified. Unless it is justified. How? Justified by what's name? Right, well, let, let's hold on one second. So let's, let's have that conversation. Where's my Bible? Bear with me one second. Can I get my Bible? Thank you very much. Right. So, the, the, the Islamist has laid out his position. I've laid out what I think should happen to the Islamist. There is no dispute about the Quran talk teaching violent jihad. There's no argument here. He agrees that I'm right in my pre representation of... I mean, the verse is very clear. Yes. Yes. The, yeah, there you go, brothers and sisters. This is the mindset we're up against. This is why you need a muscular Christianity. Because liberal secularism is not dealing with this guy. He's here preaching that bull <laughs> And he's not, the police aren't going to do anything to him. Even though he's on camera, even though thousands of you will see it, he will not be arrested, nothing will happen to him. But in a muscular Christian state, those very words would have meant his de deportation. It would have meant his children being taken off him. 
It would have meant the confiscation of all of his property. It would have meant that his wife would be left here and he would be kicked out. Would that happen in I Poland? Don't, I don't see any difference between the reason, in Poland. The reason why Poland doesn't have an Islamist problem is because they don't have enough Muslims to have an Islamist problem. Yes, of course. I don't see any difference between you and Islamists, to be honest. I don't see any difference between you and the person you read. Yeah. Because you don't allow me to believe whatever I want. Yeah, I don't want you to believe whatever you want. So why do you have problem with Islamists if they don't allow you to believe whatever you want? Because I would wouldn't invade your lands to make you believe what I believe, but you would invade mine. But you are, again, you, you stop me from believing whatever I want. Agreed, because your beliefs are dangerous. And Islam is they believe your belief is dangerous as well. Right, so now let's talk about that. Mm. Do you agree that your belief is dangerous? No, absolutely not. I don't believe the my source, belief is dangerous. The source, well. yes, but your your beliefs result in war. Your, your beliefs result in the persecution of the church. Your beliefs result in the invasion of lands that aren't your own. It results in theft. And Jesus said you will know them by their fruits. Yeah, but your belief is against Allah, is against Islam. Right, so let's... I can say that's a crime. Let's, so let me ask you this question. Uh -huh. Right, in Surah 43, 81, it says this. Which one? Which one? Surah 43, 81. I'm not really an expert in that, so... Okay, that's fine. I, I would agree with the verse. I will agree with well, the Well, let's, let's, let's think about what it says. It says this. Say, if Allah the Most Gracious had a son, I would be the first to worship. So this is Allah saying to Muhammad, say these words, right? This is Surah 43, 81. You got it on camera. We have a problem in the UK with Islamists who support violent jihad. So Surah... Well, all the Muslims are supporting jihad, not just me. No, not all of them do. I've met then, Muslims that don't support violent jihad. How can, I, I've met how Muslims. How can you be Muslim and you just support that? Well, the it's a great question. Is, it's a great question. Yeah, yeah. It's a great question. The verse you read is very clear. And you know what it shows to me? It shows me that there are some Muslims who are better than Islam. And those are the kind of Muslims that I can live with. Uh -huh. So when you go away from today, you've got to remember that I'm not against all Muslims. I'm just against you and Muslims like you. Because of my belief? Yes. And I believe... So like ISIS, they are against you because of your beliefs? Yes, yes. So why yes. are you blaming them? <coughs> because your beliefs result in murder and theft and war and destruction. I don't believe it's murder and destruction. So when you're stealing someone else's land, I don't is that not stealing. theft? I don't believe it's <coughs> And there you go. I don't believe <coughs> So let's come back to this faith. Which... Um, let's come back to what? The, the Which chapter is? Surah 43, 81.